Hey everybody, Hansel here. Why don't TF2 fans just move on? This is a question I often see when people not familiar with the game look at the current situation. It's a question I've even asked myself. If you're not in the TF2 community, TF2 was released in 2007, making it nearly 18 years old. Around 7 years ago, Valve released the latest major content update titled Jungle Inferno. Since then, Valve only puts together a collection of community created content and releases it in themed seasonal updates mostly Halloween and Christmas themed. If that alone was the issue, I'd be happy. I think TF2 where it is could last several years as it has with no updates. And that's just how amazing the base game is. The community around it also helps by making incredible content that even after all this time still hits new peaks. In 2020, Valve confirmed the leak of source code related to TF2, and bots that were a small issue before started to become a much bigger issue in the game. You heard that right. Bots were an issue before the leak. So if you'd like to know more, I suggest watching a video Terror made on the history of TF2's bots. These bots will join the official matchmaking servers in swarms, spam hate speech in voice and text chat, use aimbot as sniper to instantly kill players the second they have a line of sight, and then kick the real players on their team. The cheating bots have started to mimic players in chat by defending themselves when you call a vote to kick them. They're using other classes so the uninformed don't think they could be cheating. They were even so bad at one point that they could crash the server when you try to kick them, making the official way to play the game completely unplayable. It took two years of pleading to get a statement from Valve in 2022 in which they claimed to be working to improve things. Since then, to my understanding, they've hired a contractor who's been doing the things they can, but by no means can they solve the bot crisis alone. This video by The What Show dives deeper into the nature of the people behind hosting the bots and the real laws that they've broken and other illegal actions they've committed. If you'd like to learn more, I really recommend that you watch it, especially if you don't know the full extent of how bots work and what the people behind them have done. So, eventually you have to ask yourself, why not move on if clearly the developers have? It's hard to explain, but TF2 has a certain feeling that no other game comes even remotely close to. The freedom of player expression and how you can play the game makes it infinitely replayable. No one match feels the same, and even after 11 years, I'm still learning new things about the game that make me excited. I started playing TF2 because it was free and the stylized graphics meant me and my friends could run the game on our laptops. Every day for the last four years, someone like me picks up the game and it deeply saddens me to see that they're not able to experience the same game that I did when I started playing. I still believe that TF2 is far from its peak and that can only happen if the developers somehow solve the bot problem. TF2 has one of the most accepting communities and a loss of the official way to play the game would mean a loss of part of the game's identity. Valve is still pushing microtransactions in every content update as they have been for the last 4 years and it's disappointing to see a company that used to be held in such a high regard sit idly by as their beloved games are rampaged by cheaters. We're not even asking for new content despite 7 years of paid cosmetic rates and sometimes a new map, we're just asking to play the game that we love. I just wanted to spread some information about what's currently happening in TF2. I don't have a solution, and I don't know how Valve can fix the problem. If you want to make your voice heard and try to make a difference, I've linked many resources to learn more about the problem and what you can do to help in the description. Thanks for watching, and hopefully soon this issue is fixed.